Hey, welcome back to the Team Leal Kitchen, where tonight we're gonna be making lemon donuts. You can also make lime donuts out of these. These literally take one hour to make. They're amazing and delicious. If you want the full recipe, head over to our blog. Also remember to subscribe so you can see all of our new recipes like the chana masala I'm making for next week. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. Let's get cooking. Vamos a cocinar. I'm super proud of this recipe because it is the eighth time, I believe it is, that I make it. Please excuse how quickly I'm going. I'm literally doing this right before heading out to an appointment with a physician to go train his team for an advanced surgery. That's what I do for a living and I cook for fun and literally for sustenance since my son can't eat gluten and all that good stuff. So. I do measure all of my ingredients in. I'm not a baker, I'm more of a cook. I use the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one. -one. You'll see I have a huge bag, it's 25 pounds, and that's all I've got left. So once I measure the, the flour in, I go in and I get my sugar in, and you'll see all of our measurements on our Team Leal blog. So if you need the exact recipe, the link is down below. After the sugar, you'll get in your baking powder. I'm using three teaspoons. I did not weigh it, but it's about 14 and a half grams per the container that I'm using. And after that, you'll use your salt. And again, uh, just a quarter teaspoon, but go ahead and head to that blog for the exact recipe. I love Miyoko's butter and it is not just amazing on toast, but it works really great for baked goods. Just make sure after you get your um, amount that you get it into the microwave for about 15 seconds and then stir whatever is not melted. It'll melt the rest. Then get your oat milk or whatever milk you're using. I use one cup and get it into there as well for your wet ingredients. All right, now we're gonna add the applesauce. Applesauce is what we use in place of eggs. I use two heaping tablespoons. I do like to use flax eggs a lot, but applesauce is what I wanted to use because I'm, I feel like the flax eggs add a lot of heaviness. And then you'll add your citrus. I have lime. I'm showing you guys making my lime donuts. Although the day before I made my lemon donuts, amazing. Both came out so good. So you're just gonna mix up your dry ingredients very, very well, and then add your lime zest to your wet ingredients. The zest is what takes the longest to make, so make sure to be ready to use a lot of arm power to make that zest. So just mix up all your wet ingredients and dump it into the well of your dry ingredients, and then all you have to do is mix it all up together and you're pretty much done. It'll be a little bit lumpy because of the lemon zest or the lime zest that you use, but it'll end up around like a pancake batter, but a little bit thicker. You'll see right, right here, just like that. That's how you want it. Okay, so you'll want to grease a donut pan. If you don't have one, you need to get one. They're amazing. And then all you'll do is you'll get a piping bag. I usually have help when I do this, but I was doing this alone and I was really in a hurry because I had to get to my appointment. So this was a reused bag, so I was squeezing the end of it. And then once I fill it, I just start filling all of my donut pan. And I did have to refill my pastry bag three times. This recipe will give you exactly one dozen donuts. Please know that you should only get one dozen donuts. If you underfill your donut molds, it, they just won't be as good. So you wanna make sure to get one dozen donuts, which last in my house, mm, I would say about 30 minutes. Literally, it's ridiculous. So once you get all of them in there, make sure they're all kind of equally piped in there. I do end up cleaning up all the edges and the sides of the pan that you'll see some like pastry or I don't know, I guess you call it like the donut stuff, the filling, you'll see me. See, there I am, I'm cleaning it off so that it doesn't burn. And then you get into your oven. Now, while it's in the oven for 30 minutes, you're gonna get your powdered sugar and you're gonna start making your icing. What makes this icing so special is that you do have some citrus zest in it. Again, I'm showing you my lime and 
you'll see me literally scraping every last bit of zest that I can find because it's so hard to get zest. I also don't have a microplaner, I just bought one, but I don't have it yet, so I was really getting creative to get the zest off of these lemons and limes. And what makes it special is that instead of using milk, you're literally just using citrus juice. So again, I'm just using my lime juice. And notice that thing on the left? That's my recipe book. This is how I create my recipes. <laughs> it's got red um, ink all over it. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm not a great baker, but I got it on this tray. So then you'll get your butter because the butter does help it kind of harden. If you don't have butter in it, it just kind of stays liquidy. So you do want to get some butter, microwave it, and then add that in there. And that'll help it so that it gets that kind of Krispy Kreme shell. And there you go. Your donuts are out after 30 minutes in the oven. They look amazing. Oh my gosh. One dozen donuts in one hour. I let them rest for 10 minutes and then I take them out and look at how they look. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Que bellas están. Que lindas estas donas. So I just ice them. You're just gonna twist, twirl, and there you go. There's one of your glazed donuts. And then you'll grab another one and do the same thing. I'm gonna slow this down for you so you see just how beautiful these come out. They are just gorgeous. Look at this, look at this. <gasps> gorgeous. So you can either choose to single dip or double dip. I did end up double dipping. So I did make a, an, a second batch of my icing and then I double dipped them. But I double dipped them after I get back from my appointment because I had to get to work. This is what they looked like while they were drying. These were amazing. I can't even explain for being gluten free. Holy cow. The lime was good, but the lemon was my favorite. I really hope you make these. Buen provecho. And see you next week. Hasta la próxima semana.